Today, what I want to talk about very briefly is that in Adam, all have died a spiritual death. You know, God gave one commandment to Adam and Eve. Only one. Everything else was lawful to them. Everything else was permissible. They could do anything their heart desired except do one thing, and that was to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And Satan, being the guile serpent that he was, beguiled Eve, and she convinced Adam. And the Bible says in Adam all have died. Now a lot of atheists and even so-called false Christians will tell you that, well, God said that in the day Adam eats of the tree, he would surely die, and he never, and he never died. But he did. He died spiritually. He was kicked out of the Garden of Eden. The moment that he sinned, his body began to die. That's why Adam eventually did die. Okay? And he died spiritually. That's why the Bible says in Adam all of us have died. We have inherited sin from Adam. We are born with sin, the Bible says. And all of us are spiritually dead in our sins before coming to Christ. Just go and read Ephesians chapter 2. It says, And you hath he quickened who were dead in your trespasses and sins. It doesn't say we were crippled in our sins. It doesn't say we, we were maimed in our sins. Or depraved in our sins. It says we were dead in our sins. You know, that is why other religions, and even a lot of Christians, everything that they know is with a carnal mind. You know, you cannot claim to be a Christian and say, well, there could be a bit of truth in Buddhism, a bit of truth in the religion of Hindu, a bit of truth in the religion of Islam, and pagan religions, and say you're a follower of, of, of Christ a follower of the Messiah because you don't believe him because he said in John 14 verse 6 I am the way the truth and the life no man comes to the Father but by me he said unless you believe that I am he you will perish in your sins don't worry about the other religions or the other people that's between them and God but we know the gospel and you can't say you know the gospel but there could be truth in other religions and other things you find fascinating because it doesn't work that way Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life no man comes to the Father but by me only by him he was the only one who lived a sinless life Without him, you will perish in your sins. And you see, Adam died spiritually. Because, you know, 1 John 3 verse 4 says that sin is a transgression of the law. Anything that God commands and you go against that, you sin. And we have died in our sins before coming to Christ. For me, example, for, for myself, for an example, um, before coming to Christ, before being born again, before God, having saved me by His grace and quickened me, I desired things of the world. I desired to go out and party and get drunk and smoke cigarettes and smoke whatever else. And I desired those things. My heart was there in the world. And it felt good. I enjoyed it. Because I was dead in my sins and trespasses. But then grace came along. I wasn't seeking for God, he sought me, quickened me spiritually and saved me. Then I became a new creation, a new, have new desires. Those, you know, many Christians, they stop those things. They say, well, look, the Bible says the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So they quit smoking, they quit drinking, they quit all these things. Okay, because they think that's... The, that's what the Bible says they have to do. But in their heart of hearts, they still desire to go out there and do those things. So they're striving against their nature. And that's not a true convert. 
when you're truly converted, those things of the world are cut off. I no longer desire to do those things. They just don't appeal to me anymore. They're stupid. I think that I live like an idiot. I, I truly do. I find what I did despicable and disgusting. Idiot. It's like... The, and living a life like that is... Nothing less short of foolishness. I just don't desire it. Those things have been taken out of my life. And you know why? Because I've asked God to remove those desires from my heart. And that's what the problem is with most Christians today. They don't ask God. Christ said, ask and you shall receive. And if you don't receive, it's because you're asking amiss. You're asking for things of the world. So ask that God removes those desires from your heart. Puts in a new desire. And he will do it. If you mean it. But if you just pray it with your mind. He's not going to answer you. You've got to get your face on the ground literally. And beg God to take away those desires. Many people say that if we're in Christ we have two natures. And which is partly true. But by and large the spiritual nature should be winning. It should be leading you. As the Bible says, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the desires of the flesh and of the mind. That is, doesn't mean we're sinless, no. <laughs> no. But it means we don't desire to sin anymore. We don't desire those things of the world any longer. I just don't desire big fancy cars. I don't desire anything of the world. Nothing of the world. I'm dead to the world. I'm crucified to the world, as the Apostle Paul said, and the world is crucified to me. Literally, nothing the world can offer me brings any joy. Nothing. Nothing. And um, that's how anyone in Christ should be. And that's the, the difference between saying you're a Christian and being born again. It's coming back to the beginning of the video, in Adam all have died spiritually. Everything that a lot of Christians understand, they understand with their mind. They've been taught things. They've been taught theology when they were young and they stick with that theology. They've been taught this is okay. They've been taught that is okay. That's not okay. This sin is worse than that. And they learn those things because... Or they, they continue in, in that sort of a belief because that's what they were taught. Everything they understand is carnal. They even think they're in the spirit, but they're not. They're not. You even get people like Buddhists, they meditate. They meditate. Mm -hmm. But it's all with the mind. Spiritually, they are dead. They claim to be spiritual, but they're dead in their sins. They're dead in their sins. The only one that can quicken you is Christ and you must be born again. And the only way you can be born again is by the Spirit of God that moves. As Christ said to Nicodemus, it's the Spirit of God. It's, it's like a wind that blows wheresoever it wants to. And if it makes its abode on somebody, God will quicken that soul and start to begin to draw that soul unto Christ, unto the only way back to the Father. And, and like I say to you, if you got desires and you're struggling with things of the world, you're still desiring, you're striving the whole time against, like, you, your heart's still there in the world. Even though you don't do those things, your heart is still there. Then you need to ask God to remove it. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. In the name of Jesus the Christ. And He will do it. I promise you, if you mean it. But as I say, in Adam all have died, every single human being, spiritually. When you talk to somebody that's out of Christ, you're speaking to somebody that's carnally able to, they're able to think, they're able to rationalize, they're able to logic. But spiritually, they are dead. Dead. There's no life within them, spiritually. But when you're in Christ, there is life spiritually. And 90% of Christians don't have the spiritual life in them. Because everything that they understand, 
is all with the brain. It's nothing with the spirit. And um, like I say, in Adam all have died spiritually. You desire the things of the world. But as 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, If any man be in Christ, they are a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things, not some things, all things have become new. You've got new desires. God has taken out your old stony heart. He's put in a heart of flesh. He's put his Holy Spirit within you. And the world is dead to you. And you are dead to the world. I guess my point here, brothers and sisters, that I'm trying to get at is that in Adam, all have died spiritually. Again, as I say, said at the beginning of the video, and um, man is dead in their sins. Okay, and it's only the grace of God that quickens the soul in order to come to the Son Jesus. And so, with that having been said, please make sure that you are truly in the Son. Please make sure that you are truly born again. Don't be as a Christian, most of them would just understand with the mind that spiritually they are dead. Every human being that's been born into this world is dead in their sins and every human being that needs to enter into the kingdom of God must be born again. They need to be born again in the spirit. Until next time guys, stay in the word and stay prayerful. And remember, lies avail to nothing, but the truth shall set you free. Love the Lord your God with everything you have, and be your brother's keeper. Shalom.